Hello everyone, Amber Bevco here to bring you the NEC 9, the top 9 plays from the past week in NEC Hoops action. Starting off at number 9, St. Francis Brooklyn's Tyreek Jewell hits this deep 3 to extend the Terriers lead with just under 2 minutes to go. Sit in, Tyreek Jewell! Come on, long, long way, 6 points. Terriers on top, 44-38, 1.58 left to go. Coming in at number 8, Mount St. Mary's senior guard, Jody Chickie, comes up with a steal on the inbounds play, leading to a Catrice Dixon layup. A steal, here's Carter, all over to Dixon to score. Number seven, LIU Brooklyn's Jerome Frank throws it down with one hand, courtesy of a no-look pass from teammate Martin Hermanson. Corner, Hermanson gets through, looks no-look pass underneath to Frank, who goes underneath and takes it down with the right hand. And we stay in Brooklyn for number six. LIU Shanice Vaughn splits the D and finishes with the layup. He struggles for St. Francis on the glass, allowing an average of 49 rebounds per game. Nice job by Vaughn, keeps it on her right side, goes in and banks it off the glass. Right, so Vaughn did a great job splitting the double team up top. For number five, we go to Emmitsburg. Mount's Gregory Graves goes up and over everyone for the putback slam against Bryant. Gets the Robinson, he's driving it in, he lays it up, no, what a dunk on the follow! At number four, we have two plays from Teaneck. Great passing from Fairleigh Dickinson leads to a wide open Mike Holloway two-handed slam. To Neme, thought about a three, down low for Holloway who throws it down. Pretty passing by the Knights right there. Then on the women's side, the Knights make four passes before Brianna Thomas finishes with the layup to extend FDU's lead in the second quarter. Harassed by Patterson. Down at 12 on the shot clock. Over to the corner, Reynoso trapped into the corner, fights it off, gets the ball back, pass to Jackson, baseline, Livermore, no, Thomas floats one up and in. For number three, we go back to Brooklyn. Robert Morris's Kayvon Stewart finds Ronnie Pryor, who goes up with the left hand and throws it down. Pryor would convert the and one. Colonials get the win, 70 to 60. That gets the Robert Morris fans on their feet. Coming in at number two, Bryant senior point guard Shane McLaughlin sends it to overtime with his game tying layup against Mount St. Mary's. Six seconds left, McLaughlin's got the big Danaher. Now Graves, McLaughlin drives, layup is up and good! And the game is tied. And our top play of the week belongs to human highlight reel, Dewan Anderson from Wagner, as he takes the pass from Corey Henson and fakes out the defender with a behind the back move to finish with a two-handed dunk. Woo! What a move from Dewan Anderson. That's it for this week's edition of the NEC 9. For NECfrontrow.com, I'm Amber Bevco, and I'll be back next week with nine more plays from NEC Hoops Action.